Hey everyone. So today we're in the kitchen, which is not where I usually am when I make these videos, but we're gonna do something different today. So this book got sent to me as a review. This is Home Apothecary by Stephanie Rose. I happen to know Stephanie a little bit. And she is a garden blogger who believes strongly in the therapeutic powers of flowers and plants and living healthy. And she had some problems with, um, with uh, severe pain and disease. And um, she really believes that her garden saved her. And her story is incredibly inspirational. So you should go check her out and I'll put a link to her website uh, down below. But this is her new book. And in this book, it's all about making wonderful things um, from your garden. And it's timely right now because uh, it's Christmas time. So if you want to make some gifts, uh, this would be a great way to do it. So here's the thing though, I can garden and I can bake pretty well, but I'm not a very crafty person. So uh, this is completely out of my element. Um, and I sort of mentioned to Stephanie, like, these are great. I love this book and I love all the recipes in it and they sound wonderful, but I couldn't do this. And so she said, just try one. So I'm trying one today. I have no idea what is going to happen, but she assures me that if I can do this, anyone can do this. So um, today I'm going to be making the calendula lotion bars that are in here. So there's a whole bunch of recipes in here though. There's lip scrubs and um, butter bath melts and bath bombs and foot soaks and all kinds of really beautiful things that would be great uh, for gifts if you're into that kind of thing. So let's just stop talking about it and give this a shot. So, uh, okay, first I have to find the page. Okay, here we go. What I'm supposed to do is measure out all these ingredients and put them into a um, double boiler. I don't have a double boiler, so, but I have a plan for that. If you don't have a double boiler, this can be your double boiler. You take a kettle and you're gonna put some water in it and you just put a bowl that fits in it in it. Double boilers just make sure that heat moves really evenly and sort of softly and doesn't create hot spots and something. So here's the top of my double boiler. So you're also supposed to have a kitchen scale and I have a kitchen scale and I happen to like this kitchen scale. I'll put links to all the stuff I'm using uh, down below so that you can find, cause I ordered everything I have for this, um, for the, except for the few things that I have and the grapeseed oil, which I bought at the grocery store, everything else I ordered online. So, okay. So zero that out. Okay. First thing is the grapeseed oil. So this is, um, calendula infused grapeseed oil. And I made this yesterday and I'll Flip over to that, right? So it's this beautiful, like, I don't know if you can see this, this beautiful golden color. It's really quite lovely. I guess I'll just pour this in. This is gonna be a real mess now. Oh, uh oh, now I put too much in. Okay, next up is coconut oil. Beeswax, which apparently comes in little pellets. I've never purchased beeswax before. Odin. And then, Cocoa butter. Um, so here's an interesting thing. This recipe calls for cocoa butter and this is cacao butter. So can someone tell me, is that the same thing? I don't actually know. Well, it says used to make chocolate and desserts, add to smoothies and DIY beauty. It smells like chocolate. Okay, well, we're going to go with it because this is what we got. <laughs> it's got to be the same thing, right? Oh, it's all like in a kind of in a clump. Okay. 
That's close enough. All of this goes in the double boiler and we're gonna stir it till they all melt. Okay, so I put it in this I put it in this glass jar to um I put it in this to make it easy to pour, but it's freezing to the sides or solidifying to the sides, so I have to be quick. 40 drops of lavender oil. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that's 32, 4. Yeah, that's like 40. Then this goes into silicone flour molds like this. These are soap or cake or whatever molds. Here we go, moment of truth. Okay, while it's hot, I'm supposed to put in calendula flowers. So I would have saved petals from calendula had I known I was doing this, but I didn't, so. So anyways, because I didn't save calendula seeds, or petals, this year, um, I had to order some. And I was trying to find a small bag and I kept finding these bags that said, ugh, this one happens to have like the whole seed head in them. Um, I kept finding these bags that said four ounces and people said this is more calendula flowers than anyone will ever use in their lifetime. So I found this bag and this is only, this giant bag is only two ounces and I made all that oil plus this and there's probably three quarters of this bag left. Um, and it was like $8. I mean, it's hard to justify the time it takes to collect your own calendula if you can just buy it like this. On the other hand, you know exactly where yours is coming from, so if that's important, plus it's kind of fun to make stuff from your own garden, but I wouldn't feel bad if you had to buy the bag. Okay. So, that's all there is to it, apparently, at this point. So, these go in the fridge. Well, it said put them in a cool place. I guess I could probably put them outside. Maybe I'll do that. Um, and the nice thing about the book is that it offers packaging suggestions for everything. So, I mean, this is super cute, these little metal tins on a bed of shredded paper and calendula flowers. That'd be beautiful for presentation. Am I gonna get around to buying little metal tins? I don't know, but I might stick them in one of those little plastic bags and put like a cute little bow on it. So we'll see. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Now I just gotta let these cool and we'll see what they look like when we're done. Okay, you guys, I've stuck these outside um, just to harden up. Um, by the way, um, there was some, my hands when I rolled those balls, got full of this stuff, so I wiped it. You guys, my hands are so soft feeling. I'm already kind of sold on this whole thing. But here's the big moment. We're gonna unearth these and see what they look like. I hope they work. Ooh. Oh my God. Can you even believe? Well, that's gorgeous. Oh my God, I can't believe this actually worked. If I was doing this again, I would take a spoon and I put that calendula in there and kind of poke the calendula petals down so that you'd have more petals on the tops. Amazing, that was not hard. Okay guys, so it's all in this book um, by Stephanie. I will put a link to the book below. Stephanie also has a course um, that'll, that's a, a video course and it's sort of work at your own pace with all kinds of tips about how to do more of this kind of stuff. And I believe the book is included in that course. Or if you're gonna pick up the book anyways, you might wanna get the course. I'll put links for all of that in the description. So check that out. Um, but in the meantime, be amazed at my crafty prowess. All right, tell me if you guys ever do projects like this or if this is something you might get a, a try to. Uh, check it out and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.